Hello to my fellow outlaws. Today we're talking about the Just William Card Game, published by Pepys in around 1952 and illustrated by Thomas Henry Fisher. This is a delightful little card game based on the books by Richmond Crompton. There are 10 different books that are part of the card game. They have four illustrations each. Um, I'll pop some on the screen so you can have a better look. The object of the game is for a player to get two full sets of cards and um, as it becomes their turn they lay the cards, the sets on the table. When they lay their second set they then shout I declare and are named the winner of the game. Along with the four illustrations each from the ten different books, we also have two cards each of William and his arch enemy, Violet Elizabeth Bott. These cards will become apparent as I read the game. Also in the case is a rule book. Now you'll often find this card game available on eBay. Some of the cheaper ones, uh, like mine, will be a bit tattered and torn. On one side, there will have been affixed a card from the game for descriptive purposes, so a potential purchaser could see what they were buying. Now, to play the game, the dealer shuffles the cards well and deals four cards to each of the players. The players then look at the cards that they've got and bearing in mind that they need to get two sets of cards, so that's the complete set of four illustrations from two books, they then look and see which card they can hand over to their left. And when this is done, the um, starting with the dealer, Another card is taken and added to your own set and this happens twice after which the players can then look at the cards and decide which one they would like to pass on. And the game continues in this way until either the deck is extinguished, meaning that the players hold all the cards, or a second set is laid down completing the game. Now there is a variant if you have five or more players, in which case only one set is required to complete the game. To keep things interesting, if you have a Violet Elizabeth card, then you cannot lay down your final set. To counteract this, you must get a William card, and if you have a William card, then you can lay down your final set. So it's useful to remember that you really don't want to be holding Violet Elizabeth. Pass that off as soon as you can, but perhaps keep room in your uh, hand for a William card just in case the Violet Elizabeth is passed to you or you retrieve it from the deck. It really is wonderful to see all of these illustrations in colour and each one has a caption. And in this, this one here, see William in Jumble with the caption of William took a last look at his home. Very melodramatic. The game takes around 10 to 15 minutes to play, it's not very long, it's a nice light game. Um, the illustrations hold up well today. I'm sure you know kids will still love to play a game like this. Um, it's also quite a collectible, although possibly not in this condition but yeah it's really nice to have them and if you've played it or you want to let me know in the comments i'd like to know what you think of this game um, the just william version was not the only version created uh, there were some other ones um, particularly 
the Famous Five series by Enid Blyton was covered by Peppies in this series of card game. So thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.